Hi, I'm Joe Radel, Senior Applications Engineer for Spirex Sarco Incorporated. If the 25 valve is overshooting, it's fairly simple to troubleshoot it and determine whether it's the pilot valve leaking or the main valve leaking. Uh, what we need to do, obviously we need to close the steam off ahead of the valve, make sure that it's shut off and the pressure's let down. And we can then take the spring cover off, okay, so we can actually see the spring back, set screw all the way up so that the spring is relaxed and not putting any pressure on the pilot. So there's no tension on that spring. And what we want to do is remove this tube here, which looks like a sideways U. So we'll remove that tube. And now we're exposing the, those two ports. This is connected directly to the pilot. And this port here is directed, connected directly to the outlet of the valve, so we need to be checking the main valve itself. There's a small orifice inside of that tube port. And what we want to do is remove that orifice and just check it, make sure that it's not plugged up or blocked. There's a little wire inside there. Which will bounce around and move around as the valve operates and prevent it from blocking up. If that becomes plugged, that'll prevent the pilot steam from bleeding off of the main valve diaphragm and then we'll keep the valve open. So we've got to make sure that's clean. For right now, we can leave that out. And what we'll do now is just crack the steam on a little bit such that we can see if the valve is leaking. So we'll open up the steam just a small amount. And no steam should be coming out of either port. Now, in this particular valve, it's working well. There's no steam coming out of the pilot, there's no steam coming out of the main valve. If the valve was leaking, and I'm going to turn down the spring just a little bit to show you the plug. Okay, you should get the flow out of that valve. And normally it would be maybe steam or a little bit of water, but if it's doing anything like that, we've got a problem. And what you can do, if it's just dirty, you can turn it up and down a couple times and see if it'll clear. Otherwise, it should be tight off. If you do that several times and the valve won't close off like it did right here, then we know the pilot valve is leaking through. If we have steam coming out of that port down there, that indicates the main valve is not shutting off tight, and we would need to remove the pilot, remove the top of the valve, and pull the valve head and seat out, and physically clean it in that particular case. But this basically tells you right off the bat what part of the valve is bad, what part of the valve is good, and what you actually need to repair before you start just tearing the valve apart and working on it. It's a quick and easy troubleshoot. This works on all valves from half inch to two inch. Two and a half, three and four are slightly different uh, tubing connections on it, but they would uh, be tested in the same manner. We're just removing one tube. We can tell what's going on in that case. If we determine that the pilot valve is bad, it's fairly simple to repair this pilot valve. What we would do is remove the pilot from the valve itself, and then we would remove the valve head to seat assembly, as we show right here. Okay, we can thread that right out of the valve once we get it loosened up. And we can pull it out. You get a new assembly just like this one here. We thread it back into the valve, tighten it up, and the valve repair is actually complete. We can put the pilot back on the valve, and the valve should go back into normal operation without any problem in that case.